and welcome back again still got the webcam off gonna try to play some more Starfield I think Zelda might be settled down just a little bit I think might maybe we'll see Hers a good girl <laughs> webcam is off because I still have my light out I don't I haven't turned it on and so long as the light is ah. out ah so long as the light is out the webcam isn't going to work the way that it should. So, we're just going to go as is. Who did a good Zelda? Oh, that's our good Zelda. Hey, I love my Baba. I love Baba. Ah! Come on, lay down. Okay, let's go to the lodge. Good girl. Delightful relic tangled up with hope, grit, and science. How is Neon? Are you? Are you okay? Need you to look at the data from my ship sensors. We. Yep. Wait, what happened? Who was after you? Take a look at the ship's sensor data. I think everybody needs to see this. Uh, all right, I'll start transferring the data over now. Let me just bring it up on here at the table. Does the screen change? Is that, is that a prototype? No, that material isn't anything we... What the... Everyone, come take a look at this. That's no faction vessel or Crimson Fleet. Secret military tech, maybe? Hmm, no United Colonies Admiral approved that starship design. They call themselves the Star Demanded we hand over the artifact. Like we were children playing with their parents' things. What do people know? Any offshoot groups go by that name? Not in any corner of the settled systems I've seen. Maybe a distant human colony finally popping its head up. Uh, another house for Rome. I very much doubt that. We ignoring the obvious here? A heretofore unknown group who just happens to know about the artifacts. I'm just gonna say it. Intelligent alien life, or extra-dimensional beings. The original creators from the furthest fringes of space. Or beyond even that, is the metaphor of avenging angels coming down to keep humanity from forbidden knowledge not apt here? So, we have a lot of theories, but nothing concrete. Except that they're after the artifacts, and they're willing to take them by force. Or what Walter said. They were acting like a parent. Worried their children are playing with something they don't understand. So, they're strong-arming us for our own good? That doesn't sound very divinely benevolent to me. Noel, start analyzing all the data from the ship sensors. The gravitational wave they caused, scans of their weapons, shields, everything. We're in the dark. We need to learn anything about them we can including some way to fight them, if necessary. Until then, we stay the course. Collect the artifacts. It's even more important now that an intelligence we don't know or understand is looking for them. That ship could be anywhere in deep space, even if we got lucky. 
A single grav jump and we'd lose them. Agree, everyone should get ready for a fight then. I doubt All they'll stop. All we can do is be more cautious, but we are not stopping. This could end up being a race we don't want to lose. Vladimir, has the eye picked up anything new? Some glints of shine in the dark. Ready to hand them out as soon as you please. All right. Good luck, everyone. And be careful out there. I'd like to talk to you. Did you need something? Where did Walter go? <laughs> well, I suppose that station in orbit has more than paid for itself at this point. I trust you're still satisfied. Oh, right. I was afraid you were going to bring that up again. Very well. Let's see if I embarrass myself or not. My colleagues, I venture out into the darkness of space once again. Many of you have expressed concern. At my age, you say? Surely the risks are too great. Surely Sebastian Banks has earned a rest. Nonsense, I say. To go out into the unknown, to brave the possibility of never coming back, to ignite the spark of hope that humanity will find answers out there in the stars? That is all I have ever wanted. If this last expedition is my time, then I say I have been fortunate. I have been fortunate to leave surrounded by people who could not be more different from one another, but who share a common purpose. That, dare I say, I am fortunate. My soul has a home it can always come back to. And that was the last thing Sebastian Banks ever said in the Lodge before he disappeared. And Constellation has been waiting for him to come home ever since. <laughs> Not my first time in a hostile negotiation, as you well know. Admittedly, I usually know more about who I'm facing off against. <laughs> I'm very interested in what Noel could learn from the scans. The technology on that ship was impressive, to say the least. <laughs> if there's a chance, we could learn enough to duplicate some of it. Hey. I got to where I am by taking advantage of opportunities, no matter where ah, I oh. find them. Might as well make the most of this crazy situation. I want you to know I was very impressed with your work back on Neon. <laughs> There's no fooling you. Don't worry. This is a much lower stake opportunity. My Star Yard's been having a little trouble getting our next project off the ground. I need someone capable and decisive to step in and steer it in the right direction. Interested? Yep, I'm Love in. Love the enthusiasm. I knew there was a reason I picked you to help with this project. It's a new ship. We want to diversify our fleet. Now, I don't know why the people I pay very handsomely to come up with new designs can't seem to get out of the R&D phase. And frankly, I don't care. I just want someone, you, to go there and show them how it's done. I did not. Part of the problem is that my designers seem to be having trouble agreeing on a plan. I should mention that you're not there to make design decisions. You're there to get the project back on track and help guide them. So, ideally, 
You're not adding to the problem. R&D needs to happen first, whenever work starts on a new project. It's a natural stalling point, since we need to make so many big decisions. In this case, we're talking about looking at our existing fleet of ships and using data we've gathered to see what consumers want. But of course, each member of the R&D team can interpret that data to suit their own confirmation bias. I'm guessing that's what we're seeing here. Excellent. I'll send word ahead to the project lead, Jules Degante, that you're taking point. They'll all be instructed to listen to you and follow your direction. I expect big things from you, so I'm excited to see what you manage to deliver. I don't believe you'll let me down. All right, we're not doing that quest yet, but we will soon. Let's hit L. Let's talk to Vlad. Another round of invoices coming in soon, Walter. It's almost as if you think I'm made of credits. What is it this time? Artifacts won't find themselves, and us going after them means fuel, repair costs, the occasional payoff. Of course, of course. I'm just a walking bank account, aren't I? You don't fool me for a moment, Walter. You love it and you know it. Yes? <laughs> All right, let's go talk to Vlad. Forgot to check the math on a few equations. The brain's long con. Forgetfulness. You had a hell of a shake getting bullied in the void. Starborn sure know how to make an entrance. Ready to head back out there? The eye can help you find the artifacts, but I'm afraid she's blind to our new competitor. But I think he would have liked to give me any day. Double check the safety and locks wherever you go, okay? Exploration's dangerous, even without some nefarious group trying to kill you. Alright, we got two planets to go to. Over to SSN. Man, the galaxy's too big to be stuck in the same place.
You know, I went to chef school. This ain't exactly where I saw myself. You have another... You have that look in your eye. What's the scoop? Hope to see you again. Hey. Now let's go do this quest. Hey Zelda. Did you bring me a toy? Ah, oh, say, Bubba, I want to. I brought me my sock Selling with the balls. Ship. I want to play. <laughs> well, this is the place to do it, I guess. I want to play, brother. <laughs> I don't want to hear any. Tug of war, tug, tug, tug. Oh, such a good girl. Yeah, yeah. that you've almost destroyed this sock. I need to get you a new one. Ra, 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 What's your name, stranger? I buy you a drink. Too late. This should be a hazard dump for everyone. A little of this, a little of that. I like to keep busy. Friends call me Ernest. Actually, everyone does. Because it's my name and all. And you? Fahim, huh? Came in on that ship to Markov? I bet you didn't know it. But I'm a tracker. And I'm here for your bounty. Two ways this can go. You know the drill. <laughs> Let's see here. Bounty says you made off with a haul of medical supplies. Meant for orphans. Something. I get a bonus if I turn the shipment inside on scene. I figure they're in the markup. Looks like a place that doesn't mind some color. Or you can surrender. I trank you up, deliver you, they kill you. Nobody ever picks that option. I don't deal with smugglers and no good types. Well, I do, but more violent like. Yeah. My words, my bomb. <laughs> Let's not do this. So you didn't shoot your way off Neon Fahim? The bounty is pretty damn clear. But something don't sit right with not sure what. Ha ha ha! Bounty hunter! You're no rookie! <laughs> we both know that bounty is a sham. You're being played. Right. It doesn't add up. All right, I'm not taking you in. But that just means somebody else will. Whatever you are shipping, you got to return. The next tracker probably won't be as upstanding as I am. 